I've been married for five wonderful years, ten total, and <laughs> I will say this. Marriage is about commitment, because at least once a month I want to commit suicide. But other than that, <laughs> it's homicide. And it's also about compromise. Because when we met each other, we had to learn things about each other. When we met, we learned that I liked to sleep with the window open, and she used to like to sleep with my brother. And that was a problem. <laughs> In the ring, I want to engage. Well, first of all, she proposed to me, and I knew she was serious by the way she was holding the blade against my neck. And I, uh, you're supposed to spend three months' salary on the ring, and I chose three months in high school when I worked at Burger King, and that <laughs> did not go over well. I like being married, though. It's a lot of fun. It changes you. People think, oh, it's not going to change me. Yes, it will change you. Things change. When we were dating, my wife and I, I would open the car door for her, which I still do now, but now we're doing 70 and I'm pushing. A little different. And <laughs> snoring. Snoring, it became an issue. I snore. I've snored my whole life. I snored when she met me. I snore now. My snoring has remained constant. Her reaction to my snoring has changed dramatically. When we were dating, she said it was cute. She said I sounded like a teddy bear growling. Once we got married, she started to give me a little nudge. And over time, the nudge begat a shove. And now she throws an elbow that would get her thrown out of a hockey game. <laughs> and two weeks ago, and I am not making this up, I'm sound asleep and I am snoring. She pinched my nostrils together, which is attempted murder, and it's wrong. <laughs> and children, we have children, we, uh, we bred, and uh, we have twins. People asked if we use fertility drugs to have twins, and unless you count Prozac and Propecia as fertility drugs, but we got the child we always wanted and one for parts, so that's good. And I had always dreamed of having twins, but in my dreams they were the Olsen twins in a hot tub. It was different, but this is special. I'm Irish, my wife's Lebanese, so we know they're gonna grow up to be drunken terrorists. Very excited about that. They, uh, they were due in January, but they were born in December, so they came early, just like daddy. And that's kind of exciting. Pregnancy was tough. First trimester, a lot of vomiting and crying, and my wife was having a tough time too. And second trimester, she snapped one day and she said, I would love to see you give birth to a child. And I said, I would love to see you pee your initials in the snow. We're just different. I went to every doctor's appointment with my wife when she was pregnant, and it's humiliating, because you walk into the doctor's office, and within five minutes, your wife is naked with her feet up in the stirrups, and I can't even get her to wear a cowboy hat to bed. You know what I mean? <laughs> and then the doctor comes in, and the first thing he does is he conducts what he calls a breast examination. That's what he calls it. I call it going to second base on my wife in front of me. That's what I call it, because this, that's not necessary. And then... <laughs> And then the quack says, I'm just looking for lumps. And I'm like, you're going to find one, Dr. Dickweed. <laughs> and then at the end, I got to pay this guy. Can you believe it? <laughs> Our final visit to his office, I gave him a urine sample all over his desk. I didn't like him. <laughs> and now he knows. The delivery was amazing. I filmed the delivery. I called the sequel because I also filmed the conception. And... Uh, <laughs> That is available on YouTube. Check it out. Anyway, I've learned a lot. I've learned that Playtex now has a synthetic nipple for the top of their bottles that is so unbelievably lifelike, and you have not lived until you had a gin and tonic through one of these things. Honest to God, that is Nevada. We're childproofing our home, but they keep getting in, and that's a little annoying.